Hey, it's time to open a box. Hello everybody, I am of course the Invertibarian. Thank you very so much for coming and watching this video here today. If you're new here, please do of course subscribe to the channel and don't forget to use the notification bell to be informed when new videos have been released. Before we open a box, I'd like to say a huge thank you to my Patreons. Uh, I've been chatting away to one of you, uh, you know who you are, and it's really nice getting feedback and speaking with you. And yeah, it's just absolutely amazing being able to communicate with people that I know really enjoy watching the videos. Uh, so a huge thank you to you uh, for supporting me and yeah, thank you ever so much. Uh, but if you want to become a Patreon, the link is down below. Uh, but in the meantime, we have a box. It's from our big old hairy Viking friend. Hello. 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 Simple hello video would have done, mate. But anyway, on we go. You mopper. Now, I know what's in this box. Uh, obviously, we have the standard noodles. Uh, but what we have is, just take that out there, pull that to the side. And what we have we need a trusty knife. That's not a knife. You may recognise. You may indeed recognise, but this one here is a dude. These guys are Thilcytocopus. Um, Huntsman, they are Thilcytocopus SP, uh, commonly known as Black and Gold Huntsman. Uh, I think they're Malaysian. Uh, they're also a, known as a leaf wrapping species. So what they do is they will find a, a big leaf and they will curve it round and build a nest uh, within that to act as a big box, little box, uh, as, a, as a canopy, as a hide, as an area of safe dwelling. So with that in mind, I completely redid my female's tank, which is actually right behind me right now. I've put it as sort of pride of place uh, right behind me, right there. Um, so we'll have a look at what we did with her tank and then we're going to have a look at just how exactly we're going to go about uh, housing him and introducing him to her and ooh, spider fun. She has been moved into, as I say, this tank here. This is an extra Terra 30, 30, 45 and you'll see that what we have done is we have turned it into a planted enclosure now this is a piece of bark she was in in the original setup i did for her so there is a little webbed hammock down in there and uh, she's also started webbing up uh, like i was saying about the curve in the leaf she's actually the light is not great but when we get the tank out you'll see she's created one down under here and has currently created a hammock uh, in behind this cork here so what we're going to do is we're going to lift the entire tank down onto the floor uh, get her let's have a look at her introduce him into the tank and see what happens well we'll maybe offer her some food first you can see what i was saying about behind this piece of bark see how she's webbed up around here she created herself a little hide area again and behind this leaf she has done the same and again the original cork bark uh, from the original setup we did for her is here so she has been exploring the setup and as i say it's currently here this is a live planted setup false bottom drainage layer uh, soil and then we've planted these uh, hopefully greenery plant things that will grow and increase and create lots of lovely uh, environment for her to live in and then we'll maybe introduce him up around here somewhere so he's close enough that they could hopefully pick up on one another's presence i apologize about the not very brilliant footage but we are filming through glass it has for me it has been misted um hopefully um we can get him in i'm kind of wanting him relatively close to her and uh, hopefully the pheromones and all that malarkey uh, I know how feisty these guys and girls can be, so I don't particularly want them heading towards my hand. Uh, maybe onto this branch over here that you can't actually see. Well done, well done me on the filming. Yeah, 
we'll try and get him around here somewhere so there's not a lot of size difference between uh, males and females they seem to be almost identical in appearance Yeah, so he is now in. So to say, this is our setup. I do like it. Hopefully all these plants will thrive and grow and fill the tank and it'll look absolutely awesome. Um, yeah, I do quite like it. So she's in here. He's in about here. We're going to keep an eye on them and hopefully the next part of this video will be something. I don't know. So what's really happening is Mr. Sausage Fingers up there is kind of crawling around the tank up the top. He is laying um, strands of silk around the tank, which you can't really see. Um, I know some species of spiders will lay silk with pheromones and uh, pluck, the, produce different frequencies to communicate and you know communicate with a female. So possibly is that what he's doing? I don't know, but. Obviously, I will keep an eye on him. He is laying, as I say, strands, strands of silk. That's a lovely picture. Um, so we'll leave little Mr. Fat Sausage Fingers uh, to kind of explore. Hopefully, she will come out of down in there. And at some point, hopefully, we'll get some action. But in the meantime, Mr. Sausage Fingers, you explore the tank all you like.